welcome back friends so today i am with another subject that is uh, dom dynamics of machinery before proceeding this video so let me know friends uh, how was your hd paper to comment section mein zarur batayega ki aapne kaisa hd paper likha atd paper to mujhe bhi andaaza ho jayega ki aap kaisa kar rahe hain paper to mujhe pata chalna chahiye to so that i can make more and more content for vtu students especially for vtu engineering students okay so my dear friends uh, let me start this particular subject that is dynamics of machinery so in the module first my dear friends uh, there are some theory concept that is a definite question over here so state the conditions for static equilibrium of a body subjected to a system of two forces three forces and member with the two forces and torque okay this is the one question from the first module also uh, in, the, in this part there are some four bar mechanism problems which are lengthier ones there there is a uh, there are some procedure to follow that so that you can uh, tackle that particular problem but my dear friends just go for its or part in the or part there are some problems with the engine force analysis which are very easy uh, three or four problems are there so that you can prepare these engine force uh, analysis were there so whatever you uh, what we call you choose uh, the sun star you choose the uh, textbook over there so that you can get these uh, engine force analysis problems over there it carries 14 marks so in the <clears throat> also there are some theory concepts in the particular or part uh, that is inertia force and inertia torque okay and uh, d lambert's principle just go through this particular content you will easily score in the particular first module my dear friends and uh, now the second module which is uh, which i call the passing module over here uh, it carries two parts one is the rotating mass problems and uh, static and dynamic balancing of mass it is the theory part uh, four marks it will carry and this carries 16 marks okay so i will prefer you just go for its or part as it is very simple and easier one that is the reciprocating masses it carries 20 marks it is a definite question over there that is a 20 marks so there are five problems in this particular uh, what we call the content a particular part over here so five problem out of five problems you should go through two or three problem problems so that you will get some idea how to do these problems i will uh, let me show you some uh, interface for this particular reciprocating mass problem so my dear friends uh, <clears throat> this is the module second that is balancing of reciprocating masses numerical problem is like uh, will be like that uh, the pistons of a four cylinder vertical inline engine reach their upward uppermost position at 90 degree interval in order of their axial position pitch of the cylinder will be given crank radius will be given length of the crank radius uh, the engine runs at uh, 600 rpm if the reciprocating parts of each engine has a mass of 2.5 kg find the unbalanced primary secondary and uh, primary secondary forces and couple you have to calculate take central plane of the engine as reference so like this uh, there will be questions you have to draw first uh, this diagram of these uh, pistons and uh, then primary crank position then you can go for the uh, what we call the polygon diagram over there okay so this is the polygon diagram my dear friends this is easier one you have to go through this concept and if you only make this table over there you will get uh, at least four marks uh, for making this table over there then rest part is the easier one so this is the uh, force part uh, force polygon primary force polygon then you have to calculate some unbalanced primary forces like that and then after you have to go for the secondary crank position like that this is the interface of these type of problems over here so it is easier one my dear friends go for uh, five problems at least uh, from this particular module so that it will be easy for you to score 20 marks in this particular module and it is easier one my dear friends i am telling you you have still uh, two nights uh, that i may call it the, two engineering nights and one day is left now so go through this particular second module so that you will easily uh, what we call avoid backlog in this particular dom subject so this was the second module my dear friends so you have to go through this uh, reciprocating masses then <clears throat> then go for module 3 there is the uh, derivation part that is derive expression for speed of a potter governor with usual notations taking friction into account so this will be the derivation part in the module 3 go for this uh, derivation don't skip it and then some theory concepts are there uh, what is uh, the sensitivity in s that is stability isochronism hunting and governor effort so these will be the uh, what we call the theory questions from this particular third module so go go through it and derive expression on gyroscopic couple it will be there and just to focus on this porter governor problems 2 to 3 minimum it is also a simple concept my dear friends uh, you have derived here the equation for the porter governor so sam will the sam will be the concept in these particular type of problems over there so then module fourth comes up 
just to prepare these three questions that is natural frequency amplitude degree of freedom resonance damping factor time period this will be the definite question uh, from the module 4th my dear friends it is the most important question and uh, also derivation is there Deriv expression for the natural frequency of the spring mass system using newton's method uh, and energy method on th this uh, particular derivation there are some questions they may ask you to determine natural frequency problems are there uh, which are very easier problems my dear friends go through it i i hope you will get 20 marks in this particular module if you just go through uh, any textbook or sunstar just to prepare prepare my solpa uh, then you can easily uh, score 20 marks in this particular module my dear friends <coughs> So then module 5th comes up, only 3 derivations are there, go for it, uh, it will carry 10 marks. So derive an expression for the oscillatory motion of a sibling mass damper system or define transmissibility and expression for the same. And also there is derivation, uh, derive equation for steady state amplitude for forced vibration with rot uh, rotating unbalance. Or they may ask you sometimes, it is the same but uh, what we call as uh, the different pattern over there, that is the expression for magnification factor or amplitude ratio for sibling mass system with viscous damping subject to harmonic force so i have friends uh, i have cleared all the topics over here if you just prepare in these two engineering nights and one day it will be enough to pass uh, this particular subject so you have to focus on a two uh, second module which i am again telling you that this is the passing module from this particular subject that is the dynamic submachinery i hope aapko ye uh, video acha laga hoga to agar aapko ye acha laga to apne uh, friends ke sath bhi share kijiyega kyunki taaki unko bhi uh, thodi aasani ho jaye ye content pad ke to wo aasani se is uh, paper mein backlog ko avoid kar sakte hain thank you for watching this video my dear friends